Hi, and welcome to the AM show, podcast, video show, whatever you want to call it. It's called AM because this is the Annie Amindi show. And my name is Annie Callis, and I am in Australia, so it's PM in our side. And you are? I'm in Israel. I'm Mindy Stern, and I'm broadcasting live here with Annie from Israel. And now it's, it's AM for me. We're broadcasting from both sides of the world. Yes, and we decided to start doing this podcast. We met, we met about a year, two years ago, something like that. We're part of the same sort of uh, community, same academy. We are both coaches, and we just have really great values that align. And then a third party actually told us that we should start doing um, TV shows and all sorts of things. So we said, well, let's just start with a podcast first because we have so much to share with the world. I am a relationship architect, so I work with people on their relationships. And Mindy? I, I'm, also, I'm a, also a coach, a trainer, a mentor. I basically have a company for helping people with financial coaching. I help people get out of debt, start living their life the way they want to financially, and actually creating a lifestyle that they want to live using their money in the best way possible. I also coach business people. I focus primarily on women, but I can coach anybody. And I help, help business people run a better business, make more money in their business, and have more leisure time in their business. So if any of you are interested in that, or any of you are interested in relationships, this is the place that you have to be. But I will say this, Annie, either, even though you and I both have our expertise in our own companies and our own uh, you know, niche markets, here on this podcast, podcast, I think we're going to be talking about everything. Everything that affects yep. us as women, as mothers, as business people, as entrepreneurs, as, yeah, I'm going to say it, don't get mad at me, but as middle-aged women, uh, I think that there's a lot of things we can contribute to a lot of people just from our life experiences. So it's not going to be, I hope, it's not going to be very dry. It's not going to be focused on, you know, Recruiting clients into our own businesses. I think it's purely to explore with the world um, Better ways to live better lifestyles to have and to have a lot of fun doing it Yeah, well, we definitely have our experiences and I'm not upset. I am a fabulous middle-aged middle-aged woman so and I sort of say, you know, both of our one of our mentors is Mac Newton and he's, he's like 73 or 74 years old. And he said, life starts tomorrow. So life starts at 50 plus, 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 plus. plus. <laughs> so, so I think, I, I think that uh, the, the last half of our life was there to teach us things, to, for us to collect the wisdom. So now we have this opportunity because we kind of know who we are and we have the opportunity to help other people to understand certain things about life so we're going to be sharing our experiences so as some of our one of our other mentors said tiha becker don't trust the word i say well exactly it's not like i tell you how to live your life i just share with you with the world what worked for me and some people can take example from it so yes as you said this is not about recruiting it's not about that it's about you know, offering value, offering knowledge. Now, of course, if somebody wants to talk with us, by all means, we're not going to say no, because that's what we do for a living. We are there to help people have a better quality of life. But the whole thing is about understanding a little bit about life. And you know what? I've actually had quite an interesting experience today. Do you want, do you want me to share it with you? Absolutely. Tell me all about it. So I spent the last 24 hours with a friend of mine who is going through a dreadful, dreadful, dreadful divorce. Mm -hmm. And it is, it is debilitating and it is breaking her apart and she's had some very horrible thoughts. She got kicked out of her house. Wow. She got arrested and she got kicked out of her house. She had nowhere to go. Oh. So she stayed with another friend the other day and then I said to her, come and stay with me. So we spent some time together and she just left and I have to say, I am feeling really sad for her and it doesn't matter how much I spoke to her, um, can't fix it in 24 hours. She did take some stuff away, 
but I have to say this world, this world does have stuff happening in it. And, and I, I saw with my own eyes, you know, somebody who's just completely lost and they don't know which way to turn. And I did feel at a loss at some point, And then I just had to be okay with what I was able to give her, yeah. you know? And there's so many people that um, have nobody to talk to or, or they just don't want to talk to anybody in case they are, they are uh, inconveniencing somebody. So, you know, I think it would be really great if people have some questions about life to throw it at us because we have a very big community of friends and like-minded people and coaches of different, um, um, uh, prof uh, not professional, background. specialties, thank you, yeah. uh, background yeah. and specialties. So there could be things that maybe you and I are not really well versed in. However, um, you know, we, I'm sure that we have other people on our show and bring people in that have very special things to share with us. So if people have anything to say, I think it would be great for us, for them to connect with us and, and ask some questions. Absolutely. What do you think I mean, of that? So that's the lesson mm. number one for today is ask questions and seek advice, seek help. You know, my mother always says to me, my mother always says to me, grandma used to say to me that the president, even the president has advisors. And I think that's a, that's a big deal, taking advice or asking for help. You know, I had a client yesterday also that uh, we were talking and he wants to take on all the responsibility. You know, he's in, he's in a family, he has his wife, he has me, he has his children, his children are adults. But he's always taking on all the responsibilities. So yesterday in the discussion, um, I said to him, I said, well, why don't you ask, it was something with the computer came up. I said, well, why don't you ask uh, one of your kids? Do they know about computers, telephones, applications? He said, yeah. I said, why don't you ask for help? <laughs> and he looked at me, and it was something so mundane. It wasn't even something big and, you know, oh, help me with my life or help me with this thought or help me with this big major career problem I'm having. It was an app that he couldn't disconnect from. But he, he was struggling and struggling to find the way to, to disconnect, to unsubscribe from an app, yeah, which was taking from a little bit of money every month for many, many, many years. But it, he doesn't know how to do it, can't find the answer, struggling to find the answer. And it's just sometimes as easy as just asking from somebody for a little bit of help. And then he would have this big problem. It's also a financial problem, really uh, work out. So yeah. If there's something bothering you guys out there, something that you're interested in learning, something that you want to improve in your life, bring it up, send us a message, write it here in the chat, in the comments, and um, we will be happy to tackle it. And if we don't know the answer, just like you said, Annie, we will definitely be able to find someone and maybe have a guest to come on the show with us to, uh, to help you solve your issues. Because, you know, life is about learning. And I think, again, that's, a lot of our mentors uh, say that and that learning and learning and making mistakes and trying things and making mistakes and learning from your mistakes. Maybe Annie, we, we talked about mentors before. Maybe I'll just give a little bit of a background of the people that we're working with, you know, the community, yes, absolutely. how we met, uh, a little bit of the process we went through in, uh, in our own personal development. Annie and I met through personal development, uh, through personal development pro uh, programs seminars, workshops, mentors. So um, I'll say that we are both part of this community called the Blair Singer Training Academy. And that is officially how we met. Uh, we work with a man named Blair Singer, who is, I think, the world's best trainer and teacher, mentor in the world, and probably one of the nicest people that you will ever, ever meet. And uh, Blair... He has a mission in, his, in Blair Singer Training Academy to create the world's best leaders and trainers. And through leading and training, we can actually all together change the world, make the world a better place. And uh, I've been working with Blair since I think 2016. Annie, you a lot longer, right? 2012. 2012. Oh my goodness. So we've, we've been with Blair a long time and Blair has this really big community of people all over the world, leaders and teachers and trainers all over the world who he has trained, he has taught, 
he has helped them all go, including ourselves, through a whole series of programs to be able to be the best leaders and trainers and teachers in the world. And, and they are able to be the best, and we are able to be the best, because the program is not just the technical training of how to become a teacher. The programs that you go with Blair are basically personal development programs. If I want to have a, a, a great and successful business, the first thing that I need to work on is me, you know, from the inside out. If I want to be the best teacher and trainer in the world, the first place to work on is on me. So, um, so you go through a lot, a lot of, you know, meeting yourself and growing as a person and exploring your new ideas and creating new challenges all through a network of, uh, you know, support and love. And like you said before, Annie, like-minded people, because uh, especially for solopreneurs, you know, people who work by themselves or entrepreneurs, we have a tendency to work alone. And um, yeah. we have a tendency to work alone. And that's one of the things that Blair has really knocked into us is that life is a, uh, life is a team sport. Business is a team sport. Relationships are a team sport. So work in teams. So even though Annie is in Australia, and I'm here in Israel, we are a team, and we became a team through this organization, through this academy called the Blair Singer Training Academy. Yes, and, and, a, and a great thing here is, is that, um, you know, Mindy, you have, a, you have well, two skills that I needed. And by meeting you and a big part of this group, I was actually able to find the right person to help me with what I needed. So since I've been working with you in the last now 10 months, I am further along in my business than in the last eight years. So that's, that's pretty huge. So when you find the right person, but unless you go out there and you, 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 you're part of a group, you're part of a community, you go networking, you will never meet people. And, and then to be able to, ask for help that is that's key it doesn't make anybody any less you know a lot of people are embarrassed to ask questions because then they kind of figure that they're not good enough or not clever enough or not worthy enough but the thing the reality is that we we can't know everything we weren't born with everything like if somebody would say to me any we need you to do a um you know brain surgery well i don't know but I can sort of maybe try direct you to the right person, you know. However, I think I could probably do a pimple, a pimple squashing thing because I've been watching this doctor. <laughs> on, I mean, I you know, it's called pimple porn. It's really funny, right? Pimple porn. But I tell you, I have found this woman called Sandra Lee, Doctor Sandra Lee, on YouTube, who is a dermatologist, and I have been watching surgeries for the last three months. And you know what? I have learned so much. I've learned so much about skin, about how to remove things. And I started to go, oh, I got that too. Oh, that's what you do with it. So it's really funny. So I'm educating myself. Honest to God, I think I could do a, a pimple removal surgery because I watched so many of them. You know? <laughs> so, so, you know, I think it's, it's just... <laughs> so, so I don't know why I said that now. I don't know why I went there, but, but it's all why, about... Why, why, why? What were you looking for? when you uh, started exploring on YouTube, this dermatologist, what, what solution were you trying to solve? And what problem I didn't, were you trying to I, solve? I didn't, I, I don't know what was it about it. You know, like I, I was watching something, like I always, I wanted to be a doctor. Oh. So when I was a little girl, like my mom passed away when I was five. So nobody could save us. So for some reason, I got this thing into my head at one point that I wanted to be a doctor so I could save other mummies so the children wouldn't lose their mummy right, right? so i still remember i would have been about 15 years old and they um and i was in a very special high school so in my country and i'm from romania we had specialty high schools so you were in primary school till year um eight and then 9 10 11 and 12 that was high school so by that time you kind of knew what you wanted to do so then you went to the proper high school so i went to a high school that specialized in biology chemistry 
right? So sciences. Yeah. And 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 I wanted to be a doctor. So then they took us. I, to I just got to say this: I went to a high school that specialized in partying. So. Oh, good for you. Nah, not me. <laughs> I, I was not allowed. So so I went to the University of Medicine, and I actually assisted in an autopsy. Oh my God! Right? How old were you? So I was uh, 16. Oh. So, they, so they said, who wants to help? And I said, me. <laughs> so opened up this person. They gave me the stomach and they gave me the intestines. And then he made me walk and said, look how long the intestine is. Oh my and then God. they cut out the brain. Oh and then, my God. Do, you know, do you know how heavy this is? It's unbelievable. Like we have no ideas, like consciously realized how heavy our brain is. Wow. To carry wow. the thing around. And, and you only gave, use 10% of it. They have heavy, yeah. small thing yeah. that's not used even barely. That's right. So it's, uh, so it was really cool. So I think it's, I always had this interest in, in medicine and getting better. So then I just found this lady and I love the way she explains things. And it's, it's almost like, she cleans people up, you know, she takes out all these lymph nodes and things and that, and then people are so happy. So I am all into bettering. So I don't know, I'm just hooked on this right now. So don't ask me why, I don't know, but it's really cool. She's really cool actually, right? So, um, and that one thing leads to another. I started to learn about diseases. So I actually just like educating myself. Yeah, in I, like that. I like that about you a lot. You have you find a time. I don't even know how you find the time to do it uh, with with your business and your family and the, the learning that we do and the work we do in the BSTA and the Blair Singer Training Academy and and also we have the the Women's Project, you know, Women Leading into the Future Project that we we've been doing for the past six months. How do you find the time to be looking for these new things? I mean. I, I do it at yeah. night. when I go to bed because I need to I need to kind of calm down because I've been going all day and you know and, uh, and and then I just lie there and sometimes I go what do I want to watch sometimes I watch uh, dance videos and I I also was in, in Romania I was my first my first career my first dream was to be a dancer so I was in a school of arts in Romania so I was going to be a ballerina. Wow. So when I was 11, you look like I, a actually, I, uh, I do, don't I? <laughs> right? And uh, I'm wearing, I'm wearing this little cute outfit today. Check this out. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> I, I must, I might be 53 year old, but somehow I, I have not grown up. And, uh, <laughs> and it's great. Another thing we have in common. <laughs> you know, I, I believe that usefulness is, is within so, you know how I said to you before, I met a boy. Yeah, so I didn't tell a boy, me all about it. You know, I met a man, but I met this boy. Ooh, and, um, you know, and it, it's somebody that I have been watching for a long time. And he's, uh, he's a very interesting looking fella. So, it's not, he's not my, I thought I had a particular type, but this, guy, this guy's quite different. And he's very, he's very funky. And he asked me out. So I actually went out on a date. I was oh, like, oh, oh. man. And then, so this is how the human brain works. And then I said, why me? Yeah. And, and, I, and I, I asked my friend, I said, why me? Why, why did what did you say it to? To him? No, 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 no. To oh. a girlfriend. To a girl. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, I did ask him. I said, um, why now? Because I've known him for a long time and I've seen him for, and he's always, I've always seen him, but he's never really, he said hello and that was pretty much it. And, and, and I was like, but why now? But you know, it was just so lovely. And seriously, I felt like I was 16 years old again. Really? I got the giggles and I was telling my girlfriend, I'm going, you know, you, you know, so the thing is, we, our heart never really grows up, you know, and, and the whole thing about life is to be, to, to find a way to experience joy and comfort and contentment and peace and fulfillment and love, you know, and don't ask me what love is because that's the million dollar question. Um, and, you know, but it's nice and I'm giddy. 
I'm actually feeling really giddy. And, and I'm sitting here today and I'm daydreaming. I'm thinking, wake up, you've got work to do, you know? Fantastic. And then, then I get a beautiful message from him saying how wonderful I am. And I'm like, oh, wow. wow. So it's nice. So you know what? We are, we are middle-aged women. But you know what? And, and yes, we are single. But romance doesn't stop if you don't want it to stop. If you keep on asking for it. Oh, and do you want to know something else? What? You know, like people, when, when, you know, like we say, ask for what you want, right? Sure. Ask for what you want. So, so I used to go, ask for what I want. How, how can I ask for what I want? You know? And I, and I listened to, um, you know, have you, have you ever seen Steve Harvey? No, I haven't even heard of Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey is an American comedian. You know, he's a, he's a, a black American comedian an African-American and uh, but he's got a couple of, of shows now and he's very very popular but he's also become a motivational speaker and and the stuff that he talks about is absolutely amazing he's had a he lived in his car for many many years and now he's an extremely successful um, you know a multi-millionaire I would presume and and he's got a great following and I, and I love watching him and one day he talked about that when he was in his car and he was broke and he had no money and all of that. But he said he kept asking, like he's had faith, like I have faith, you have your own faith. And I believe in God. I mean, I don't have to go to church to, to prove that I love God. God is in my heart. And that's, that's it. You know, that's all I say about that. But I have this gorgeous little section here in my window. I look out and it's, I've got all these trees and then there's a hole between them. Yeah. And, that, and I always see the sky. Oh, wow. So I talk to him through the hole. <laughs> and then I, and I, I say, you know, I want this and I kind of want that. And I listen. I, and Steve Harvey says, you got to ask for what you want. Exactly what you want. And what he asked for, it's exactly what he got. He didn't know how he's going to get it. Yeah. But he lived into his belief. He lived into what he wanted. So Saturday morning... I go and I have coffee with some friends and we do breakfast at 10 o'clock in the morning every Saturday morning. So one of the guys from the group just got himself a girlfriend. Oh, so nice. he's beside himself with joy and happiness and I'm sitting there and I'm driving to the, to the coffee shop and I'm going, oh, this is so wonderful. <laughs> oh, he's wow. happy, he's got a girlfriend. And I am literally bawling my eyes out, right? Yeah. So I there and I'm like and they're looking at me going you're right I said yes I'm just so happy for you and he goes I'm happy but well, why are you happy I said because I just feel joy and I like love and, and you know and I, I'm you know I'm a relationship coach you know I like everything to do with romance yeah right and um and and then when I was watching the two of them I'm going oh this is so cute and literally they were teenagers and both of them are in their 50s right yeah so they hands and, and and they're constantly touching each other they oh, want to let nice. go of each other they were so sweet right so i get in my car and i'm driving and i'm driving home and i'm going you know god i could do with some of that <laughs> I, I, love, I, I enjoy being on my own i i really love my space i love my world i like what i do i like the travel that i do but i thought you know, I, I wouldn't mind just having a, a person that I can hang out with, you know, go to a concert or go to, um, I don't know, go have a dance, have a conversation, go for a walk, whatever, right? And the rest. So, <laughs> and, um, and I went out that night and this fella that I have been just looking at because he's just very nice to look at. Yeah, eye candy. <laughs> Oh, I think he is. So anyway, so and then, yeah, and then and he and, and and when I go home, he sent me a message and he said it was really lovely meeting you. Wow. And he said you're really intriguing, and he goes, I'd like to know more of you. Oh, Hello. all I could say was, how nice is that? So it is. So it is. But you know what the thing here is, is that people need to be able to receive something like that. I mean, I told you my first question was, why me? Yeah. You know, all of a sudden. And then I had to catch myself and say, well, why not? Why not? <laughs> Absolutely. Why? Because he's so gorgeous. <laughs> I'm gorgeous. You are. I'm... So, and then 
I went out on my first date in, I can't remember how long, since, since I left, since I separated from my husband, almost wow. three years, I haven't been on a date. Wow. So wow. it was nice. And all we did was walk down the river. Wow. How nice. Very, very special. So, so for those out there who are listening and for those that, you know, they had broken relationships and broken hearts and all of that. And I, I don't know where this is going to go, but I'm not attached to the outcome. I'm just living in a moment and enjoying every minute of it. And I have no, oh my God, this is a relationship. It's not, it's not yet. It's just somebody that I just met who is just really nice. That's you know? so and I've been asking for somebody really nice and somebody who likes my kind of music, somebody who, who dresses well, who's elegant, somebody who is, uh, has his own business, somebody who kind of likes to dance, even though he's got quite a quirky way of dancing and I love it. <laughs> and he's kind of, there's bits of, this, of all of that in him and it's nice. So, and I kept on, I was kept on thinking, oh no, there isn't anybody like that there, you know, but he's close. It's nice. And, and I'm enjoying the development and, and learning about somebody. So in relationships, I just say, don't give up hope. And I think that's what we do. We give people hope as long as they want to do the work, as long as there are ways. And yeah. I'm sure that in the next couple of shows that we're going to be doing, we will be talking about our experiences and what we've gone through and the pains that we've gone through. So people see that they're not alone. And if they're interested and they want to listen to stories, because that's, that's what we're doing is sharing stories and, and, and breakthroughs that we've had, you know? And, and, and still uh, are having, you know, oh, in daily every life. Every single day, every single day. You know, I actually rang my coach, Jane, Jane Johnson. Yeah. And I rang and I actually booked in a session because I couldn't understand why I got so emotional about my friends you know so i did a session with her so we did a process i'm not we didn't do a process she just did her processing and she said she goes you've become so spiritual with all the learnings and all your own personal development you reach the real deep spiritual space yeah which means that you feel joy for others and sure. you genuinely celebrate other people's joy and i just went Wow, because wow. I didn't understand why. I, every time somebody tells me that they win, they win something, they, they get a new job or they, um, I don't know, they, something that it's a win. I get so excited and I just go, oh my God, and I get emotional. I go, why am I so emotional? Why, why am I so emotional? And then, and I said to her, and why did I ask why me? And then she said, well, why not? I said, oh, okay, I haven't asked myself that question. Yeah. <laughs> so, so our own experiences are constant learning. It's a constant, constant learning, isn't it? It absolutely so, is. So I think then when, when, when um, uh, mistakes happen and when we, we fail and adversity hits and, and sometimes we sit there and we go, why me? Why not you? Because then it's like, okay, what's the lesson in it? Everything is a lesson, everything. Everything is learned. And it really depends on what you do with it. You know, and again, yes. another one of our mentors says, you cannot control circumstance, situations, but you can control how you react to them. So uh, I guess what we want to do is help people think of different ways, explore ideas of how really to react to life, how to uh, be in control, how to be active, how to build your life, create your life, and give you the tools for that. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, first session, first call was really great of the Annie and Mindy show, the AM show. Yeah. And uh, I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward, Annie, to continuing this uh, once a week. Same time, same place. Yeah. So am I, and I think next time, next time I would like for us to talk about our experiences on Mount Kilimanjaro, because as women, and, and business women. So I consider us, um, you know, powerful, like we're strong, we, we do what we need to do. That doesn't mean that we don't have our own, um, we do have insecurities, because if we didn't have insecurities, we wouldn't be normal. Be um, <laughs> but I've had, sorry? 
it's going to be a lie. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and you had, you had some great breakthroughs, you know, when, um, uh, when we came off the mountain with the sure. boots, the changing yeah. of the boots. Yeah. So I, I would like for you to share that because I think that's really, really powerful because I had very similar experience too Fantastic. in that moment. So next week, so, we're going to talk about Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh, fantastic. I, I think we could talk about the past and also the future with Mount Kilimanjaro. There's lots of things to talk about there. That's right. So great. And okay. thank you so much for today. Everybody, it was really wonderful to be on the call with you, to be uh, in this new podcast, The Annie and Mindy Show. Come back weekly to our channel. We will be here on YouTube. We will be here in the podcast. You can video, you can audio, and most important, you can be in touch with us. Comment, share, ask questions. We are here for you. Yeah. Thank you, Mindy. This is awesome. I just want to say thank you to Kristen from K2 Adventures because she's the one when she when I said to her, we're going to climb Mount Kilimanjaro again. And then she said, oh, Mindy and Annie, she said, oh, you two just have to have a show. You two have to have a show because you are amazing. So here we are. Here we are. So, thank you, And this is what, what action is. This is what action is. We just said, okay, let's do it. And here it is. And here we are. So thank you, Mindy. And I'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye, everybody. Much love. Bye. Bye.